How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at NFT Launch, a very promising launch pad that primarily focuses on IGOs and NFTs. So definitely stay tuned for this one because we have a lot to cover in probably what's going to be a very long video. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I got my microphone basically in my face. I hope you don't mind. This is obviously to optimize the sound for you guys. So just so you guys are aware, at any rate, make sure to leave a like and let's get into it because you are looking for a launch pad, a launch pad that will help you invest in NFT early projects that help you get into IGOs, play to earn and everything of the sort. It is absolutely booming. It has been for years but the NFT market is still in its infancy, you guys. And as you are probably well aware, in time, NFTs play to earn might absolutely become the future. And being with these projects early can mean the difference of working a nine to five job and just going on a in jacuzzi, right? Uh, obviously that is a very huge example. We're just gonna go into it. Before we do, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. We're just gonna be looking into it and I'm gonna try and keep it really straight with you guys. So if I don't like it, I will just say it. If I do like it, I will try to say it as well. So uh, we're gonna be very straight here on, on the Digis Club channel, all right? So, uh, Let's get into it. NFT launch is looking to revolutionize the NFT launches. The first deflationary NFT launch pad that offers game changing IDOs and NDOs. No gas wars, fair distribution and free NFT airdrops of new and upcoming NFT projects. For those of you who don't know, airdrops means that when you have your coin stake that you will get random rewards out of the air, right? And it, in this case, it will be NFTs of upcoming projects. Now, these NFTs can range from very valuable to basically not worth anything, but I can tell you right now, the art used in NFT launch will be good regardless. So a little bit about the project who's behind it. Uh, it is one of the Bluezilla uh, launch pads. If you guys are not aware, Bluezilla has a absolute wreck load of launch pads. You guys are probably well aware what Bluezilla is. So if you're not a fan of Bluezilla, then this is probably not for you. Um, but there's plenty of people who have absolutely no problems with Bluezilla. At the end of the day, I mean, it is one of the big players. And yeah, uh, so we don't have, we basically don't have any information on the team behind NFT launch. But then again, we do have some more information on the team behind Bluezilla. You can go and buy the token of this launch pad on PancakeSwap, Uniswap, Gate.io. And uh, yeah, here you can open the app to start staking your coins and participate in the IGOs and the NFT launches. And here you can apply for your NFT drops. We're gonna get into those things in a little bit. For now, we're gonna look at the homepage and see how they market themselves, what differentiates this launch pads from others, and yeah, just getting a general overview of what this project is all about. NFT launched the next step in our evolution. The NFT storm has taken over 2021. Trade volumes for NFTs has been on rapid growth in the first half of 2021, as the NFT grace continues stronger than ever. It's also a little bit what I talked about in the introduction. Uh, the NFT, real NFT bull market really started in 2021, but continued into 2022, of course, we're in a bear market right now, so we are seeing everything slowing down quite a lot, but that hasn't stopped NFTs from becoming more and more mainstream, celebrities getting NFTs, and it is still a very, very valuable business. Um, OpenSea alone has done 1.22 billion in volumes in the last 30 days. Now, obviously, we don't know when this has been written, but this still sounds like something uh, that could have been... Uh, quite recent actually. NFT launch is the next step in our evolution, changing the NFT marketplace and how launches are conducted forever. Incubate, incubated and brought to you by one of the most renowned teams in crypto space, Bluezilla. Now, obviously, whether you like Bluezilla or not, uh, opinions do differentiate. There's plenty of people that don't like Bluezilla. I want to point that out. It is not a non-controversial uh, company, right? 
From the time of inception of our first project, BSC Pad, we have demonstrated time and time again that our team truly knows how to move the needle with crypto marketing and technical know-how. We have the expertise, resources, knowledge, and experience. We have demonstrated the same with fair launches of multiple ITOs on our Launchpad platforms. NFT launch planned on Revolution. Blah, 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 blah. We heard that before. So yeah, I do feel like because it is the team behind Bluezilla, obviously maybe you don't like them, but they do have a lot of launch pads. They have a lot of experience. And that is definitely something that I do agree with. Uh, like I said before, whether you like them or not, it is one of the biggest players out there. And you're definitely not going to see a a uh, rug pull or some scam team because this is Bluezilla. We know them. We know who they are. NFT launch intro. NFT launch is the first deflationary marketplace and they're also a charity. This is very uncommon. It's actually the first launch pads I've ever seen that actually is a charity as well. They aim to make the world a little bit of a better place by putting some of their tokens, some of their money, some of their raised money into uh, certain amounts of charities, which obviously is really good, but we first have to see if they actually, uh, you know, pay a decent amount because it's very easy to say that you're a charity and that you give some of your money to charity, but if it ends up being three bucks, then it's not really charity, but more of a marketing stunt. Anyways, that is uh, not the most important part, of course. What is more uh, important here is their deflationary aspect. Um, the main deflationary mechanism on NFT launch include a 12% fee on all tokens sell and early unstaking fees of up to 20%. 5% of the Ethereum and BNB fees will go into a NFT fund wallet, which the team will use to purchase and airdrop free NFT NFTs to tier holders. This is very interesting because as you're probably well aware, the Ethereum fees are retardedly high and they are gonna be using 5% of the fees for the NFT fund, which will uh, you know gather prices for every holder. So even if you're not participating in the, NF in the NFT launches or in the IGOs, you will still get um, staking rewards, not just a, a APY, but also airdrops, which is a, a neat little extra, especially if you love NFTs. 4% will be rewarded to NFT launch stakers in Ethereum. 2% of this tax will go to the wallet, which will be used for NFT launch token buybacks and burns at the team's discretion. 1% will go to a charity wallet, which will be donated on a monthly basis. 1% is actually quite a large amount if we're looking at the trading volume and the market cap of NFT launch 1%. Um, obviously, it's not a massive amount, but, uh, you know, but you really can't expect them to donate millions. So 1%, I feel like is very fair. It's at least fair enough to say that you are a charity, right? Because if it was less than this, I would have said, eh, are you really a charity or do you just, you know, donate a couple hundred bucks every now and again? But I feel like this would be fair enough. Um, obviously, I, I haven't seen what charities they actually send the money to. I don't know if they actually have that publicly. They put it in a wallet first and then monthly they pay it to uh, the charities. I personally would like would think it would be really cool if they let the community decide. So to give a little bit of governments to the community and let them vote on where the money goes due to the charity, that would be a lot of cool community interaction, a nice little benefit to the people. So uh, I, I hope that they do that. I haven't read anything on it. Maybe we'll get to that in a bit. Early unstaking fees. Unstaking your NFT launch tokens could come at a fee with the maximum burn fee of up to 20% of your tokens. The minimum wait period for unstaking is 21 days, after which no fee would be charged for unstaking. So after 21 days, you can safely take your stake tokens out. And before that, you will have a 20% fee. Uh, now we go in a little bit more on their charity aspect. Uh, they believe in making the world a better place with the technology we have available. There's no better way to do so than making charitable donations using cryptocurrency. Not only will we be cons contributing to life-changing charities, 
who will be spreading awareness of these organizations all while promoting the crypto space and the freedom of technology represents. Uh, each month the team will pick one reputable organization. So, okay, that's fine. I, I don't have anything against it, but I would have liked it to be something along the lines of the community has a bit of uh, voting uh, governance rights and they will have a direction in where they put the money and what charity they pick. That would have been a really cool extra thing. Unfortunately, they're not doing it. The team is deciding, which on the other end might be good. Maybe they have a bit more awareness as to what charity it would be good to give the cryptocurrency to. However, like I said before, it would have been a cool thing. Super low initial market cap. The initial market cap at launch for NFT launch will be only 67.5 thousand US dollars. Now that is a very, very low market cap. The lowest market cap I've seen in my career thus far has been 55,000 US dollars, which is, that was absolutely mental, but 67.5 thousand US dollars is still among the lowest initial market caps I've ever, ever seen, which is obviously a huge benefit to any trader or anyone looking to get into NFT launch. So I'm very glad to see this. And this is just overall a huge positive. NFT launch and token information. The public price is currently at less than one cent. We can verify this by saying that it is indeed below one cent, but it is a little bit higher than that they state on the website. Of course, you cannot expect them to be fully up to date. That's why I always have my coin market cap with me as well. We have a maximum supply of one billion. Their token is called NFTL. Supply at listing is 45 million and their initial market cap is at 67.5 thousand US dollars like we said. IDOs and NDOs, game changing IDOs, stretching from a plethora of categories from NFT, metaverse, gaming, DeFi, socials and much more. And NFT decentralized offering. NFT launch will follow the three tier model, making it easy for everyone to participate in this new innovative way of participating in IDOs for purchasing NFTs, the ground level before they are listed on exchanges. So NFT launch will only have three tiers, which is obviously way less than most other launch pads. They do this to make it more fair for investors to uh, participate and make sure that everyone has fair chances and a good time investing in this platform. Occasionally, there will be times where the where we will airdrop additional NFTs to random tier holders. Tier holders will require to stake their NFT launch tokens to participate in NDOs and or IDOs. Now that is obviously pretty straightforward. I've never seen a launchpad that doesn't do that, unless of course you have launchpads that just require you to get one NFT. Unfortunately, we don't have a cool graph, which is uh, unfortunate, but it is fine. We are seeing that they have 10% for their team. We're seeing 5% advisors, 10% liquidity, ecosystem 9%, 7.5% reserve, 12.5% staking, 20% for the private sale. Oh, that's a lot. VSC pad public 7.5%, Tron pad public 5%, KCC pad public 5%, Airdrop 1%, and ETHPAD public 1%. Per uh, 7.5 percent. So what you can see is that they're putting uh, a lot of their tokenomics into other launch pads of Bluezilla, such as ETHPAD, BSC Pad, Tron Pad, and KCC Pad. What we're also seeing, though, however, is that they're only taking 10 percent of the tokens for the team, which is very, very low. It is far below average. The the less the team takes. Uh, usually indicates the more they actually give a frick about the project and the more of the tokens will be able to be uh, put into other things that are more beneficial to the launch pads, such as the reserve, such as the airdrops, and of course the private sales. 5% for advisors is a little bit more than average, but it's absolutely fine. I would have loved for them to actually state what advisors they're having, but I couldn't find it thus far. So 5% into God knows who or what. Same with the team. Of course, we know that this is Bluezilla, so that gives us an indication. But who exactly is behind NFT launch in particular? We don't know. So we don't know where the 10% goes to. But then again, because it's such a small percentage, don't really mind too much. If it was a, a absurdly large percentage, obviously I want to know who is the, the, the people that are getting all of that. But 10% is fine. And uh, yeah, the 1% airdrop is good. I have seen people, uh, I have seen tokenomics with more percentages here. So 
you know, if, if you're really into the airdrops and just gathering as much NFTs as possible, then there are better NFT launch pads that will give more NFT airdrops, but a 1% really is just fine. And I'm just glad that they have included it at all. Over here, we have their tiers. Like said before, they have only three tiers. They're using the three tier system, which is a little bit out of the ordinary, but it is fine. Higher tiers will be allocated higher pool weights for IDOs and more NFTs to mint and also have access to participate in exclusive low mint NFT projects. And when they say low mint, they are really talking about low mint. I've seen it go far below a 0.1 Ethereum for some pretty valuable NFTs. So they do make it worth a while to have a large tier. Anyways, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. We have NFT Starter, NFT Pro and NFT Advanced between 20,000 staked and 180,000 staked. All tiers have guaranteed IDOs, so there will be no lottery tickets involved. The pool weight ra uh, ranges from 10 to 100. Uh, there's a very large gap from NFT Starter, NFT Pro to NFT Advanced. So I would almost say that we have two small tiers and then one whale tier, essentially. We have a all tier NDOs guaranteed, but by, with NFT Pro and NFT Advance, we also have a high mint and NFT Advance has an even higher mint. Exclusive low mint uh, will not be available for the NFT starter. NFT Pro will have a lottery to uh, determine, a to give a chance whether they will be uh, able to participate in that yes or no. And then exclusive low mint NDOs will be guaranteed for the NFT Advance tier. Now, how much is this actually going to cost you? Again, with the price currently being at a little bit under one cent, we are looking at the first tier being 160 US dollars, and that would make the most expensive tier of a hundred thousand be, uh, let's say, ba -ba 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 -ba, that would be roughly 1440 US dollars. So those are pretty affordable prices. Obviously it's not the most expensive one, but again, NFT launch is relatively well known with Bluezilla behind it. So it is a uh, well-known, often used NFT launch pad and that makes these prices still kind of cheap. So yeah, I don't have, uh, that's really nothing out of the ordinary. So I don't have much more to say about that. Uh, so yeah, that's all for the tiers. And then of course they talk about how it is backed by the, uh, the full force of the Bluezilla marketing department. This basically is mainly to show that Bluezilla will do the marketing with full force. So people that you know are, are wondering, you know, will these projects reach full capacity? Will there be enough people interested in the projects? Um, will uh, the projects be completed? They're trying to say here that yes, they will be, because we did it with BSC pad and Trump pad and, and Bluezilla is behind it. Whether you believe that is that is up to you, but uh, there's been plenty of launches on Bluezilla that that didn't go to plan that went really bad. There's plenty of people that do not like Bluezilla whatsoever. But then again, they are very established. They are very big. And there's a lot of people that do like it. So I'm not here going to give an opinion necessarily about that. I'm just saying I'm not fully convinced that just because it is Bluezilla and just because they have the full marketing department behind this uh, launchpad, supposedly, that every single IDO, IGO, NFT launch will automatically do very well. That's not a guarantee whatsoever, but they always put it on their launch pads, uh, whether it's NFT launch, BSC pad or whatever. They also do have an incubator program. So yeah, I mean, at this point, almost every launchpad does do incubation as well. I also think that's a little bit, you know, the future. You can't just be a launchpad anymore in the future. I feel like you will have to be more than that. So that could be a, oh, you tell me, you guys, uh, a launchpad, an incubator, uh, other things as well, just like NFT launch is doing, right? They're not just an incubator. They're not just a launchpad. They're also doing airdrops. Uh, they're doing much more. I'm not going to go too in depth on what an incubation is. You guys are probably well aware. I will go over what you will get access to. You will get access to the legal department, expert tokenomic design, in-house development support, access to a marketing KOL network, exclusive access to IDO platforms and invaluable industry connections. So this is the same on every Bluezilla launchpad. They all have an incubator program. They all have the same text, but I, I have heard good things about the Bluezilla incubator program. I mean, they do have a good team 
And here you can apply it, which we are not going to do. Then we have their social media, which is, yeah, we'll get to that in a tiny little bit. So that is the homepage. This has been the, uh, you know, the, the broad concept of what is NFT launch. Now let's dive actually a little bit deeper to see if this might be something that we want. Here you just have your dashboard. You can do everything over here. Uh, it is not that uh, difficult really. Over here you can go to your unstaking and you can uh, get your tokens unstaked. Uh, as, uh, as we said before, you might be subject to a fee if you wish to unstake and withdraw your NFT tokens early. But then again, who the hell does that, right? <laughs> So if you stake less than seven days, you're being a massive 20% fee. Um, but if you stake less than 21 days, it will be 5%. And after 21 days, you will be able to get your tokens unstaked with just a 0% fee. APY at six, uh, like I said before, not very high, but it's okay. We're moving over to their projects as uh, of course the bear market has been scratching around it itself. It has, uh, taken the market down quite a bit, mainly the launchpad side of things. And we are seeing the, and we are seeing that there's currently no projects going on whatsoever. And there's no projects. Um, they do have a project on coming soon, which is Souls of Meta. And they have done a lot of projects. Uh, how many, three, six, nine, 12. They've done 12 projects thus far. And there is one project up, upcoming. Uh, like I said, no projects right now beer market so understandable but still if you're a launch bed you don't want to be left with a without you know, uh, any any launches for too long um, at any rate unfortunately you can't click on it this is probably because I don't have my wallet connected let me try that out having some travel log again it's <laughs> all right uh, we can click on the former projects though uh, here we can see all of the pool information token information and the schedule um, so that is all very neat you can connect your wallet over here, uh, but of, of course it's no use right now because the project is already closed. Here you can see all of the social media. Um, we can see that in B BUSD, they have fully finished and completed the raise with 100%. And that seems to be quite the trend. They have 100%ed every single launch they have done. And they have raised a tremendous amount of, uh, uh, of tokens with every single launch having 3000 participants or more. We can see almost 6,000 participants in this one. Uh, obviously the, the only uh, launches with less participants are going to be the launches which are private such as this one, uh, but they still have over 577 participants. Uh, and again here, the private one with much less people, but that is to be expected with 6,600 uh, participant here in metaphors, even though it was the private round in the second private, oh, sorry, no, it wasn't the private round, but it, it, it's still very, very good results. Oh my Lord. So yeah, um, the Souls of Meta, what kind of project is this? What is their next project that's gonna be coming up? We're uh, gonna take a look at their Twitter. We see here that 41.5 thousand followers, they aim to make it the first ever cross game fun to earn multi-chain NFT gaming. So it is a NFT IGO, which seems to be having a lot of traction. They are posting immensely regularly, like very regularly, and they have a lot of community interaction. Uh, lots of positivity. Everyone is super excited for this launch. And uh, I, I kind of like their design as well. It gives me a little bit of um, League of Legends vibes, uh, which is, of course, is probably what they're going for because this is a gaming uh, launch. But it, yeah, it looks pretty good overall. And if we can learn from any of the previous launches, we can definitely see that it is just probably going to sell out. I mean, that that's what it's been doing thus far. Um, so yeah, their previous projects, I'm really bullish on that. It, it's looking fantastic. Um, when we move over to is Discord a spam, we can see that they have an E rating, but on the other hand, uh, almost every launch bed on this line, uh, on this website has a E. Uh, they are missing some actual data points though, um, such as GitHub, Reddit, Exchanges, Project Team. This one is very important. We do not have a project team or a white paper for that matter. Um, Bitcoin talk thread, which is not very important. Uh, they don't have a white paper, like I said. Yeah, that I mean, these two things are big red flags in my opinion. Uh, they also don't have a roadmap, although they didn't put this on here, but they don't have a roadmap. They don't have a white paper and no project team. They just say, oh, we're from Bruzella, but that is that cannot always just be enough. 
and they also don't have a training view profile. They do have a four out of five stars member signal with two reviews. Then again, it's only two reviews, so I can't take that too high. And uh, yeah, just a lot of missing information here. Uh, we do have some reviews, let's look at this. These are from three months ago, Willem Turner. Um, so much for that idea it is a Defo scam site. Okay. Yeah, he's talking about Kingpad. Uh, that is likely a scam, which is funny because I actually reviewed Kingpad and I did come to the same conclusion. But he said he has staked on this platform for a few months now and did not go too well. Time will tell if the platform becomes fruitful as I hope. I recently unstaked and moved my funds into another Bluezilla launchpad, KCC pad, only to hear that they, they are merging it with TronPad into PolyPad. I'm yet to see how they handle this. I moved on to KCC pad as the lesser member members meant larger allocations. So much for that idea. It is a default, not a scam site though, like the following. It is definitely a known scam. This one, uh, I believe that Kingpad is likely a scam as well. Okay, yeah, no, uh, uh, good. So this is uh, actually one uh, review, but the, he posted it twice. Yeah, so there's definitely some uh, things that they have to you know, just work on really. Over here in their Telegram uh, announcement channel, they have 28,000 members and they are actively announcing uh, new things. Uh, unfortunately, they only seem to be having their announcement channel because when I try to open the normal Telegram, it, it brings me to the exact same site. So that is very unfortunate. At any rate, they do also have a Twitter with uh, almost 90,000 followers. They joined on August 2021. Yeah, for the rest, uh, they have, uh, wow, an upcoming IDOs channel, but this is a Bluezilla link. Yeah, so that is their telegram, okay. They are posting, uh, let's see, uh, July 5th uh, retweet and 23rd, June 8th. So they're posting quite regularly, but most of them are retweets from other launch pads on Bluezilla and IDOs that they're gonna be launching. We see here an actual post, this was on the June 16th, so that's a while ago. This is about one of their IGOs that they were uh, doing at the time. I do see a lot of people asking questions. Uh, here we have a tweet saying, great launch for a beer market. For those of us who bought the top, solid project launches is all we want. So overall relatively positive sentiment from the community, which of course is absolutely vital. Uh, yeah, posting relatively um, frequently as well. All right, everybody, this was just about everything I was able to dig up on NFT launch. They are, were missing a lot of information. I primarily missed their team, their white paper and their roadmap. They also didn't have all of the necessary social media, which is probably why they got a E rating as well. However, the community sentiment seems to be rather positive. Their website looks amazing. And of course, it is one of the launch pads of Bluezilla, which is one of the most well-known you know, launch pad creators in the entire crypto industry. Okay, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys are now well informed. Please let me know what your decision is going to be. Is this something you might be interested in or not? I'm dying to know. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and join our Discord. It is a exclusive community with lots of insights, lots of blog posts, YouTube videos, lots of fun people, so make sure to join it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.